what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I want to have a few words with you about confrontation, otherwise known as conflict. So I'm watching this video of Tory Lanez and this guy who is identified as a fitness model named Joshua Benoit. I believe it's pronounced Benoit, it's B-E-N-O-I-T. Correct me if I'm wrong. Benoit is French, the guy is from Haiti. In any event, we'll go with that. Joshua Benoit. So they're having an argument and the guy's telling Tory, hey man, it ain't about that, it's about respect. So Tory tells him, I don't give a F, and then bang on him. The dude, Joshua, goes to his Instagram and posts the video and says that Tory snuck him. He goes on to tell him, hey man, get back at me, man. You know, like you, you snuck me and ran off. Get back at me, man. Let's settle this like men. This is my last time uh, posting about this. Uh, get at me. So I'm checking out some of the comments. And there were people that was calling Tory the B word. So I'm trying to figure out where this come from. They feel that Tory was indeed wrong for stealing on the dude. And let me explain something to you. When you are in a position where you're having a confrontation and it can get physical. Because anytime you're arguing, anytime there's an argument, you have to brace yourself for a physical confrontation, right? This is common sense. Because you don't know when somebody's gonna go off. I'm trying to figure out, how in the hell did he sneak them if they're face to face and then do take off on them? That's not a sneak. That's not a sucker punch. Y'all was building it up. Oh man, I mean, I mean, what you wanna do? Nigga, I'm gonna tell you Come on, man. It can go down at any moment. I bet if there was a way to collect the data, they would discover that an argument ensued prior to most of the people we're walking on being murdered. I thought what Tory did was beat him to the punch. How he know that the dude Joshua wasn't going, wasn't going to swing first. This is why I try my best to stay out of arguments. I try not to argue because I don't know when I'm going to take off on somebody. So the best thing for me to do is avoid these type of things because conflict is costly. These dudes are supposed to be, <laughs> be practicing social distancing. And <laughs> we're in the middle of a pandemic and they're having a fight. Dude say he got mad because Tory stole on him, sucker punched him and ran. Well, how do you let somebody sucker punch you? Okay, maybe he got you on the sucker punch, but how do you just let him run away? Why not run behind, catch him, and handle your business. I ain't buying it, dude. That's 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 coward. That's coward action, bro. Like, don't get on social media crying about getting sucker punched when you're standing in front of a man having an argument, and then he hits you. A sucker punch would it would be like if he came from behind you, you standing there just minding your own business and. You know, you know, 
not a care in the world. You ain't worried about this dude. You probably don't even know the dude is even in the building. And then, bam, he sucker punch you. But even that does not warrant talking down on somebody, in my opinion, because if you have conflict with somebody, it can go down at any moment. So if he caught you slipping, that's the way I look at it. I don't really look at it as a sucker punch. If you got conflict with somebody, if there's genuine conflict with somebody, then they should be prepared at any moment for it to go down. And I mean go down on any level. I just look at conflict like, man, what is the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen is somebody get killed. And I don't understand how people, a lot of people today, they don't get that. They think it's just all conversation, just, just a bunch of talking. Just go, it's all it's going to ever be is just a bunch of talking. And so they don't even brace for physical conflict. So when it go down, they're totally unprepared. And then most of them can't even fight. Even when, when I look at that video, Tori didn't even look like he landed the punch. Looked like he slid, you know. He's tried to slid, slid the punch in and do kind of whoop, you know. Looked like the punch just kind of slid right past him. Kind of like a dude still in a base in a, in a baseball game. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something, family. But I don't get how if you're in a confrontation with somebody and you, you steal them, how does that make you a bitch? If, you, if, if conflict is imminent, if it's about to go down, if you're argue, arguing, you know, if you're already, if, you, if you're face to face, and it's about to go down and you beat the guy to the punch. How does that make you wrong? The thing to do would have been for both of them to relax. They both got careers. They got it going on. They taking care of their business. Really, neither one of them should be worried about stuff like that, especially in a crisis situation like we're in right now. That should be the first thing from their mind. They should be focused on making sure that they are healthy, they're practicing good hygiene, and that their family members and friends are good. That's what their focus should be. I don't know what it was about, but that don't even matter to me. What they were fighting over don't even matter to me, and they didn't, give, they didn't provide enough context to even say what it was about. So that don't even matter to me. I'm just getting to the part about conflict. Yeah, they shouldn't have been squabbling at all. They should, they, they, they should, both should be doing, uh, focused on things, a lot more important things. But the bottom line is, if you are in a position where you are having a confrontation with someone, you should prepare for the worst. We're living in different times much more sensitive times. So perhaps Tory was wrong. I tell you what, from now on, before any fight take place, we're gonna do a countdown, handshake, and paper, rock, scissors. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.